Today I'm going to show you guys a little trick. Uh, we're basically taking a, a read of this ECM and putting it onto this used ECM. Uh, and the operating systems don't match. So we get an error with uh, HP tuners when we go to do that. Um, if we go to read this, gather info, you can see that this ends in AI. So it will not write. Um, if we go over here and we open up the one that we want to write to it. You can see it ends in AE. If we go to write that, it's going to give us an error. Write calibration selected for GPEG 2, but operating system IDs are different. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the ignition in the off position. We're going to hit write. We're going to go on, off, on, off, on, off a few times. Leave it in the on position. And that's enough for HP tuners to overlook the operating system, evidently. And it will go in and write this. It'll erase it and then write it. The first write goes fairly quick, um, but when you get to the end of it, it is going to show a checksum error. And I'll show you from there what we do to finish this thing off to get that operating system to change. So it's gonna want us to cycle the ignition off for 10 seconds, back on, hit okay, invalid checksum, failed. We're just gonna leave the ignition on, hit right, You're going to notice here when it goes to erase it, it doesn't just go for a split second. Uh, I believe last time it went to like 4%, jumped all the way to 100 and, and went on. See how it, it uh, slowly did the percentage up. Uh, I believe it's erasing more. And then when it goes to write this, it actually takes quite a bit longer. Uh, I'll probably pause the video and come back when it gets to the end. So it's just finishing up the long part of the writing, it goes to validating, and then it's going to go back into writing again, and this time it's going to go through it fairly quick. And so you guys understand what was going on, basically this was a used ECM that had been updated to a different OS, and this was the original that hadn't been updated so it has the same part number but this one had evidently gone into a dealer and they had updated the os for some reason so it didn't match um i actually went through with a different tool and changed the vin on it uh, that's why the vins match so we're gonna do what it's telling us here turn it off for 10 seconds turn it back on hit okay Right, complete. We're going to go up here, close this, go here, gather info. Now you can see that operating system changed over to the one that we're supposed to have, the AE. So if you get the, the OS doesn't match error, that is how to get around it. Basically, you can do a, a full clone this way. Um, your VIN number isn't going to change, but uh, to get around that, you can just go to... You can open up your file here. 
go to system. Maybe you can disable this, disable this, go to right, select skim disable for retrofit, hit right. And then disconnect the key in the vehicle and the VIN isn't gonna make any difference with this security system that way. Not the key, the sensor around the key for the immobilizer.